I've been going through the motions lately. I feel like you just ripped out all the rest of pieces of my heart. Really trying to understand why you do me so wrong. I made the changes that you asked me for. Then you ask for more. Girl, you're so unfair. Girl, you're so unfair. Growing up, man, I came from a, a town that had one stoplight. Uh, you know, very country, rural, rural area, you know. Oh, yeah. Uh, I was into sports, basketball, football. You know, that was my life when I was in the country, you know. Uh, didn't start getting into music until I was around 18, you know. Uh, just being, coming from a single family household. My mom, she raised me and my sister. Uh, she instilled hard work and work ethic in us, you know. So that's why I worked so hard. I got it from my mom. Yeah, and you definitely have that work ethic. And not only do you have the work ethic, you're musically talented. So was this something that was always a part of you growing up? Oh, yeah, it was always a part of me, man. I didn't know it was music at first. Uh, I always have liked to create things. When I was younger, I used to draw. Do I used to sketch. So I've always been a creator. And it wasn't until I got older till I found out who I was and what I wanted to be. And I really, you know, leaned into the music and the film and stuff. You know, I had to figure myself out. by after my brother Theo's death. I eventually joined the police force. Didn't really want to be a cop. I just wanted my revenge. Rossi got away with the murder. After all, he had judges paid off, the district attorney paid off, and plenty of cops. So I figured, hey, let me join the police force. This could be my best chance to get revenge on him. Didn't really care about being a cop. Never really liked cops. But I did it anyway. My brother's death put me in a deep depression. You know, I started drinking a lot. I just couldn't shake it. I felt like it was my fault. I should have did more. I just couldn't knock it, man. I just couldn't knock it. I even contemplated suicide sometimes. Because I already knew they were going to come up to me eventually. I've been digging around, trying to find information. I'm questioning people. I'm doing things I'm not supposed to be doing, honestly. But revenge was on my mind. I also got married, had a beautiful wife. But it, a lot of murders were going on in the city, you know. And I really felt like Brassie had something to do with all these hits that was being carried out. So I told her to go uptown, you know. I got her a room at a hotel. Told her to cool out for a while because things were getting a little hot. So, here I am. This is my story. Ross got to pay for what he did to my brother. I'll never forgive him. Here's Silva on his first day of kindergarten. Silva at age 16 and while in high school. Here's Silva at 18, learning all about music engineering. Here he is with his best friend, Sherrod Wood, that he started making music with. Silva with Mike Vincent and Serge Usakov. Performing in Greensboro, North Carolina at Kingdom Lounge. Sova and the DP slash filmmaker, Sean Morgan at Costello Studios in Charleston, South Carolina, 
after Carolina Come Up interview. Here's Sova signing his publishing distribution deal with Equity Distribution Rock Nation contract. Now you got a single and it's called Unfair. And and I heard this single and I, I feel that it is unfair. What you're doing to the competition out there. <laughs> Featuring Terrell, tell me a little bit about that. Oh, well, that song, man, uh, T-Rail was actually the first major artist that gave me a feature. Um, I'm forever grateful for him for doing that. Uh, I actually talked to him today. And, uh, you know, he's a good guy, man. Uh, solid brother. Uh, that song came about when I was going through a lot of my, you know, personal life with my kids and things like that. So that's where the motivation for that song came from because he was going through things as well. So we collabed. We made a song, you know, that was our first feature together and it's more to come. So, you know, that was our first experience working with each other. And I think, you know, the next track we get with each other going to be even doper. Like that, that one was, I mixed and mastered that track myself. So next time it's going to be even, even doper. Cause we're going to have a video come with it and everything. Oh man. And let me, and let me say that again. It's, it's uh, the single is unfair featuring t Rail, And, uh, I tell you one thing, that track is hot, man. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate that. That track is jamming, and we're gonna we're gonna play it on the Mental Margarita show. So we're black, so we're hey, black. Hey. Death Row Entertainment, Death Row Entertainment. Yeah. Oh no, see real. I've been going through the motions lately I feel like you just ripped out all the rest of pieces of my heart Really trying to understand why you do me so wrong I've made the changes that you asked me for Then you ask them more Girl, you're so unfair Unfair 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 Girl, you're so unfair Reminiscing about our love Shorty was the bomb But so will be a scud Treated shorty good But she drug me through the mud This constant elevation What is what the fuck is love Manifest my destiny Death row my family She drove me to insanity I'm snapping like a turtle beat Life is full of hurdles G All my homies pray for me Baby mama drama Got me all up in my feelings I gotta make her pay I'ma stack it to the ceiling I really A lot of people fake, I can't reconcile with you Surrounded by some gangsters in their favorite color blue Shorty, I'm a thug in my favorite word is true Girl, you're so unfair Unfair Girl, you're so unfair Unfair Girl, you're so unfair Unfair Girl, you're so unfair Girl, you're so unfair Sova's oldest son, Jeremiah. Sova at 18 with son, Micah. Kyra and Micah Gillis are born. Sova's mom and his sister holding Micah and Kyra. Sova with daughter, Kyra. Big brother, Jeremiah feeding his sister, Kyra. So was mom, Marion, holding Micah. What was your first, what was your first discovery where you felt like, okay, I want to take this music thing professionally? Well, my first discovery was when, you know, basically back in high school, you know, freestyling at the lunch table. Uh, it's a typical story, freestyling at the lunch table, freestyling in the back of the bus, you know what I'm saying? In the classroom, my homie, he banging on the table, making a beat. You know, I loved, I loved it. You know what I'm saying? So that always, that had always stuck with me, 
you know, as I was getting older and I always knew I was going to come back to music. I always knew I was going to do music. You know, I always knew I was going to be a creator. It, it, it's something in me about the music. It just, it elevates my frequency, man. And it allows me to have therapy when I make music. It allows me to, you know, clear my mind. It's my form of meditation and it's peaceful to me. Yeah. And, and you know what? I mean, that's the beauty of it too. Because it is peace, it's just peaceful, it's it's therapy. You know, the name of the show is called Mental Margarita. So, you know, we're trying to we're trying to bring out the best in people. We're trying to uplift people. And mental margarita is all about, you know, what is your therapy? What is your escape from the world? Fifty to dispatch. I'm going ten seven. <sighs> Yo, James. Hey, hey. Um, I got some valuable information for you about Brassi. I'm heading your way. Okay. All right. Cool. I'll see you there. James. James, it's Tom. Hey. Oh, what up, man? Uh, I've been working hard keeping the streets safe, you know what I'm saying? How you been? I've been good. I'm hearing a lot of things, but it's all right here. Apparently, a lot of the murders that were happening in the area were done by one of Brossie's hitmen. It's all right here. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Okay, these are all the murders that have been happening around here lately. Yep. All these crimes happen the same way. Yeah. Broad daylight, headshot. Definitely a professional. Yeah. I could definitely see how these are connected to Bryce. Oh, definitely. No doubt it's a professional. Yeah, man. Oh, man, so last, what, week? It was a murder, the Sona Troll, security officer. Oh, yeah, I've heard about that. Ah, oh, same thing, man, broad daylight. Mm -hmm. Hitman shot him in the head. Killed him. The bullet casings on the ground. There weren't no fingerprints on or nothing, man. It's like a ghost. Yeah. Well, yeah, uh, but if anything, I'll let you know more about it as I'll collect some more information and anything I'll gather and I'll come to you straight away. All right, man, you stay in touch, no man. I uh, appreciate you. Oh, no problem. And, oh, and watch out for your partner, okay? Hughes. Yeah. Come on, man. What's up with Hughes? Between you and me, I don't really like the guy. He seems a bit off to me, don't you think? Yeah, not you say it, man. He does move a little funny, man. Uh, but you know, I just figured he's new to the forest, man. He's new to being a detective. 
Yeah, probably just trying to prove himself or something. So I'm just giving him a little time, you know. Okay. Well, just watch out for him, all right? Yeah, keep my eye on him. But yeah, but if I find anything, I'll come to you, okay? And if you need anything, just holler at me, okay? Appreciate your time. Yep. Like, how do they know where I live? Really makes me question what Tom said about Hughes. I know the mob paid off a lot of the police officers in the force. Maybe he was just one of them. I don't know. My only goal now is to make it uptown to visit my wife. It may be the last time I ever see her. I don't want to die. Have a seat. Hey, John, I got another job for you. Sounds good, but before we get to that one, I need that payment for the last job we did. Hey, Bill, go get that briefcase. Damn, a lot of bands look like it's all there. Hey, man, I ain't never sure of you. You're right. All right, let's talk about this other job now. You know, I don't do no cops. Man like me got rules. If I don't live by him, he turn a psycho. I don't do cops, I don't do kids, I don't do women. That's my code. But you know, I got a lot going on. My brother didn't get killed, mafia after me. You know, I can't tell you everything, but I'm trying to trying to make this work. You gotta work with me. You're giving me a hard time. We're supposed to have a good time, you know. I, I don't really want to talk about that work stuff so, at all. So let's just you know in that. Okay. All right, all right. Love it that. I still wanna let you know that I miss you. And I love you. I miss you too. You know, I've been missing you. Been wanting to come see you, but you know, I don't want to bring no heat around you. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do about the situation. Okay. We don't have to move or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. What's next for Silva? Come on. Oh, I got some futures in the tuck, man. I got some futures in the chamber I haven't released yet. I got a future with Jada Kiss coming. I got a future with Cameron. Coming. I got a future with uh, just a couple people, man. I got a future with Sean Kingston coming. Uh, it's some so much stuff, and I'm working on a, a project now called Fifty Pack. It's a series similar to you know like Power or Empire, but it's all independent artists. Uh, up and coming actors and actresses from Columbia and, and some parts of North Carolina, Charlotte, North Carolina, a few from Atlanta. Like, so I'm, I, I film make, so I'm putting together a series, you know, they can showcase other people's talent 
get their music in the in the movies, in the series, and everything. And then I'm gonna distribute it to to be Amazon Prime, all those networks, and we are, we gonna build together. You know, that's 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 what's in the chamber, man. You got him in the chamber, man. You like Wu Tang, huh? Yes, sir. Oh, I got a song with Capadonna too. From Wu-Tang. hey, big shout out to Cap. Yeah, it's called Queen. Y'all can check that out on all major platforms. It's already out. Oh yes, man, I'm so proud of you, man. I love the way that you're moving right now. Thank you now, so much, man. Are you gonna be doing the tour or, or or you're performing anywhere? Pretty soon, yeah. I'm gonna be performing in Charlotte, North Carolina on January the eleventh. Uh that's my next performance that I will be doing. Um it's the it's my conference uh showcase. Uh Benny Poe, uh the founder of you know uh equity, uh which is up under Rock Nation, it's a subsidiary of, of Rock Nation which I have my publishing and distribution deal through. He's hosting this event in Charlotte, North Carolina. So that'll be the next time I perform. Wow. That's nice. Yes, sir. That, yes, that's sir. fantastic. So you're, you're really connecting and you're plugging in and your name is just, just steady growing. I'm seeing the buzz happening. You're doing the filmmaking. Now, do you have the same amount of passion for the filmmaking as you do creating the actual music? Oh yeah, I love to film, make man. Um, it, it's kind of it kind of goes back to when I said, you know, when I was a kid, I used to like to draw and make artwork. To me, the filmmaking is adding on to the music, and vice versa. You know, the music is adding on to the filmmaking because you you know you need music for film, so it's like goes hand in hand with you know me being a creator because I actually edit everything and put it together. Uh, you know, I do all the you know filming actual camera work everything you know and i do get people to hold the camera for me sometimes so i appreciate those people that do that for me y'all you know wow that's great man that's great ladies and gentlemen we got silver black the dawn in the house representing southern virginia and let me tell you something this guy here has got it going on now, so, but how do they get in contact with you if they want booking or inquiries or any of, you know, that kind of stuff? Well, you can, you can hit me on my email, silverblackmusic at gmail.com, or you can just message me on Facebook. My artist page is Silver Black. Uh, my IG is uh, at official Silver Black, and my Twitter is at God Silver. Big G, big S. So, you can follow me on all those platforms and also tune in to me on Spotify, Tidal, Apple Music, iTunes, Pandora, iHeartRadio, all YouTube, all those networks. You can just tap in and follow me, you know what I'm saying? So YouTube, uh, that's The Sober Show. If you type in The Sober Show, all my content will pop up. Um, you can follow me on that, subscribe to the channel, like, comment, etc. And, you know, we're going to keep rocking. And I appreciate everybody to do tune in and tap in and show me support, man. For real. Man, let me get a little bit of that money you got there. What's up with you, man? I don't want no problems. I don't want no trouble, but... Uh... What's going on, man? I mean, it ain't every day I walk up and see somebody pulling that nice paper over here. They call me the wolf. And why they call you that? Because I pretty much run alone. Step over here, let's talk. And I'll let you know why I'm here with this kind of money. You know, I'll tell you about running alone. Um, most of the time when a guy reached the top, he get weak. I need some good soldiers working for me. Where do you find soldiers at? The streets. Right. That's why I'm out here. Okay. So come on over here. Let's talk a little bit. Put your info on my phone. Cool. We'll give you a test now. See this money right here? Yeah. Got an address on the band. You take that money to that address, keep two G's for yourself, get the rest to the person that's at that address. Say no more.
So we're black, so we're hey, black. Hey. Death Row Entertainment, Death Row Entertainment. Yeah. Oh no, see real. I've been going through the motions lately. lately. I feel like you just ripped out all the rest of pieces of my heart. Really trying to understand why you do me so wrong. I made the changes that you asked me for. Then you ask for more. Girl, you're so unfair. Girl, you're so unfair. Struck, here's a sprinkle of the stardust. Hold your champagne glass and your cigars up. See the guys with mob ties drive the cars up. Bright lights, most nights they buy the bars up. Candy coated Chevy cars on the highway. It's Frankie Baby, it's on, and this is my way. Dean Martin at the Sands this Friday. With Sammy Davis, here's a little hint where I stay. City shines like Liberace's mansion, and you know Elvis had the whole city dancing. Showgirl silhouette, steady prancing. Shout out to June, just the Copa girls anthem. Legal gambling, yeah, that would tempt me. A sin city, holy water couldn't cleanse me. And Wayne Newton had the crowd in a frenzy. Live at the Stardust, the seats never empty. In Las Vegas, at a count of three, I want to hear you scream, Viva Las Vegas. Ready? One, two, three. Viva Las Vegas! And Main Street was the official local beer stop. Enough slot machine noise to make your ears pop. The cigarette girls walk in souvenir shops. My Red Fox had them laughing till the tears drop. Before Steve got a win at the right time, Sig and Roy had a long circus lifeline. Now the strips got a lot of neon light signs. Would you agree there's not another city like mine? Years later, Mayweather got the city high, and everybody in your city.